Hey, this is Mass X with a brand new One Punch Man, the strongest video. And what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about Drive Night. Why? I've been testing Drive Night off and on during the week. I haven't had as much time as I thought I could, but I thought I would come back at you a week later. The keepsake dropped. One thing I will say this around the gate, if you're free to play Light Spender, you don't have to get the keepsake for Drive Night. Just to make a point, I, I recorded these two matches that you're going to see behind me yesterday i was at only core three so the first level okay of the core for drive night no keepsake okay my equipment on this character was only starred up not leveled up at all i had no special effects on any of the equipment so my drive night is basically pretty barren okay um, built up just the normal ways you would but did not go crazy with it okay so I wanted to bring that to the front and center because right now we're in a, a, a very interesting state in the game drive night is going to be very good and superior core for a while but we don't have everything that makes him just absolutely amazing what you're seeing in the background though is how he can be and certain characters can take advantage better than others i.e. tank top master deep sea king but others can't like my garu still has a hard time staying alive even though he is built like crazy because he is built purely as a glass cannon so in other characters that you might think would work really well with him Kogetsu, for instance, work fine, but they really can't take um, the punishment that your team takes as well as your opponents with using this core. Masteries will help, but you don't want to invest that masteries into these characters that really are phasing out and on their last legs. So that's why I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to show that you can make this character effective. I've talked about Team Top Vegan. Um, that will help your team a lot. But for a lot of people, this core will still be a secondary core until maybe another character or two will drop that will go along with him. But trust me when I say in the long run, you will be happy you have this character. Now, Right now I'm playing against a team that's not playing that core just to kind of show how it works off of it and how it can do well against that core. And, and why am I saying that? Because there is, a, there is some people that prefer the current core versus DK in PvP and, it, and it's, it's not the core, it's how you build your team. So you gotta keep that in mind. I've always liked tanky, defensive teams. That's how I like to build things in most games. I will rarely have what I've called earlier, like Magaru, a glass cannon. If I have any characters like that, it will be one. Everybody else will be tanky because I prefer that. I, I always want to be able to take damage incredibly better than my opponents 99% of the time because to me defense wins I know that's not the philosophy in all countries to each his own always been mine and that's what I prefer and so and that's probably why I like this course so much too because it is a more defensive based core it does have its upsides okay okay with the evasion and the breakthrough can't can't argue with that but as you can see, I'm playing two, well, I'm going to be playing two very high level teams. And I just wanted to be able to show that it can be effective, this core, without doing much to it, okay? And that's what I want to make clear. This is not 5P. This is not core 10, okay? Um, and for drive night honestly for most people you're going to be striving for core six to get the 650 percent if you can get it to core 10 you're going to be ecstatic with the 700 percent but right now it's core three we just got it it's it's very difficult to level this thing up and so i wanted to get some recordings of 
me playing with this to show you it can be effective and to stress that you're just gonna have to be patient. You know, there are characters that are come next. I mean, for all I know, they haven't told us yet and it's too early in the month, but you know, if they follow suit, Mel's could be next and Mel's works well with this core. Doesn't mean I'm gonna recommend you pulling for that character, but again, we need to see if they're gonna mess up with this schedule or not, since they've already wonkied it up quite a bit. But yeah, as you can see, that evasion coupled with that HP boost for your characters really does go a long way if, if your characters are built with that tankiness in mind as well as they work with it. Like their kit has something that will play along with specialized guard, etc. And right now it is a little bit more difficult and gonna be hard for most players, but I still think even now it's better than the bomb core when it comes to PVP type settings and it might still be your second tier team for now, but it will become top tier. Not necessarily in all PVE content, let me make that clear. I'm talking about really for PVP purposes, um, this core is just, at least in my opinion, the better core in the end. Of course, no. That it, all these cores are based on average levels. If you get a core to 17, most of them are just crazy. Not all of them, but some of them are pretty crazy. But that takes so long, even, even I'm not even at a level 17 core, and nor with the cost that's involved would even bother. It's just gotta happen by fluke. And even then, I don't even know if I would spend the resources to do those last levels. It's so ridiculously costly, but there's a reason for that because Marion on which core you pick, it is pretty broken, some of the stuff they can do. But yeah, just wanted to get that out there. Just to, just wanted to say and, and put out there and show that Drive Night, first level of the core, no 5P, no keepsake. You can make it effective. I don't think it's necessarily, unless you've already had your characters built properly. Like for instance, if you happen to have Team Top Master and um, DSK, then great, you've got two good pieces to start. You know, I know when I play my hero team, <clears throat> It's severely lacking when I use it because I really just have Tink Top Master um, and Flashy Flash and Garu. You know, he has to be back lined with this core. Normally I play my Garu front line with DSK, but not in this core. <laughs> it, 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 he will pummel too quickly. But I have found putting him on the back line, he does hold a little bit better. But usually by the end of turn three, he's dead. He's no more. So, but yeah, just thought let everybody see some of the testing, see what I've found, see what I'm using. Probably no shockers to anybody at this point in time in the game. There really isn't anybody else in my opinion to bring in there. So why start building? I did consider finishing building my tank top vegan, but I've decided for now, I'm gonna hold off. I'm kinda hurting on resources. Once I have enough, I am going to probably start using him in my hero team only when required because that extra boost to your specialized guard is, is just too good with that character and it's guaranteed for two rounds. For Garu, look at that, oof. Thank God he's getting healed. He'd be dead. But yeah, let me know your thoughts. Are you using the core yet? Have you come up with a team build that you are happy with right now using DK? Or are you, like a lot of players, just having a tough time right now? And that's why I wanted to expound on just saying, remember, we don't have all the pieces to the puzzle of this core right now. So 
keep that in mind. And again, too, just a reminder, you don't have to get the keepsake. Keepsake is nice. You go from 200 to 300% on that attack damage. You get 5% more evasion, but it is not necessary at all. This is one of those cores that he is there for the core. He has some great stuff like the breakthrough and the evasion. And if you use his ultimate, doesn't cost anything. Great stuff, but save. There's better characters and better keepsakes to get for those characters coming down the road. So with that, as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot and have a great day.